TGI Friday, everybody, on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Thomas Miller, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate the time yesterday. I'm hoping that you hear a vocal change after this episode. Going to retry the busted van trip for just a little bit. We'll let you know how that goes. All right, let's talk about today and setting up the weekend. Really, two things. Today, the moon goes home. Enters Cancer at 6.52 Eastern this evening. So either you're going to clam up or feel crabby, (laughs) or you're going to maybe have some extra intuition, or your motherly instincts might be on the rise. The moon will stay in Cancer all the way through Sunday night into Monday morning, then it moves into Leo. That shall be our first matter of business when we resume on Monday. Then on Sunday, the big one, that's at 7.15 in the morning Eastern, the sun conjuncts Venus, which is in retrograde. And this aspect really comes with a package because the last time we spoke on Wednesday, Venus was squaring Uranus at about 22, almost 23 degrees. So that's a a square between Leo and Taurus, fire Earth. Then the show shifts to Sunday where the sun that rules Leo in Leo plants a great big kiss on the lips to Venus as they are crossing in opposite directions. The sun is going the right way, Venus is going the other way, and boom, there they go. Mwah! Then next week on Tuesday evening, the sun hits Uranus in a square, and the whole cycle is complete, basically, at that point. So we talked about on Tuesday, if you've been feeling the wonk, this is part of it. As I mentioned, I don't necessarily think it's all of it, but it certainly is part of it. Now, something that we don't talk about a lot as much on here, but I have been talking about on the Subconscious Mind Mastery podcast in some of these latest episodes that are current at the top of the list of episodes right now, and that is protection. You know, typically here, I try to keep the conversation around astrology because obviously that's why you're here. What planets are affecting us and what side of the planet can we be on? But over there, we've been talking about just pure spiritual protection. And in fact, (laughs) if you've been listening to the theme of that, you know that I'm exploring basically uh, non-physical entities. Now, don't go crazy on me until you listen. You'll hear and understand where I'm coming from on it. In fact, I've narrated an audio book on it, How to Clear Them, Fred Dodson's Clearing Entities. But, you know, I'm just wondering if sometimes with these aspects, if that's not a portal for things to come into our life. And, you know, we I know a lot of people who follow astrology know the sky very well. And they're like, oh, Venus is square Uranus. So dot, 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 dot. Well, (laughs) I don't think it's always Venus. I don't think it's always a planet. Uh, It might contribute. And I've had a big aha moment. And if you haven't listened to Subconscious Mind Mastery, now you're going to have to because it's like now you got to see what dots I'm connecting. But I'm going to be following this and patterning this. Oh, my, this could be a big breakthrough. Could aspects be portals? Hmm. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is our decisions that make a difference in how we experience these things. So, If we are experiencing things out of fear, then we're going to get a low vibration response. That's Fred Dodson's Levels of Energy right there. There's two good books right there. You could do a lot with Levels of Energy and Clearing Entities, and I would throw in there the Intuitive Awareness Method. That's a great package right there. Keep you off the streets for about mm, 20 hours, (laughs) something like that. Really good high vibration, high timeline living material. But if you are concerned that the wonk is still around, do some protecting. Do some spiritual protecting. Because the sun is involved here. It's you. Of course, I'm saying in parentheses, it's you too, Thomas. I mean, it's, it's us individually. It, the sun represents you. So this is truly all about you, Venus retrograde, re-examining all those things that are important to us. And then Uranus sitting over there throwing a big old monkey wrench into the cogs of the wheel. But how else would you interpret this? So let's say that a monkey wrench has come around and hit your wheel. Is that necessarily a bad thing? It's not if it gets you to look at things you wouldn't have looked at otherwise. So what it's saying is to sit down, Taurus, where Uranus is, and take a look at something deeper. Don't just let the fire burn you up. Dig into the ground and learn the lesson. Why did Uranus throw that hatchet? To get your attention. To get my attention. 
to get us to look under the surface. And why is this even extra punched and why we know that this is the theme? Because tomorrow the sun trines Chiron. Oh, those deep wounds. So it's also likely that perhaps the wonk hit you in an area of one of those wounds in your life. And this whole package is so positive. So don't worry about the wonk. Lean into the wonk. If you've had it or if it comes up over the next several days, just know that this is a big major stepping stone on your spiritual journey and lean into it because the answer is within you and it is above. Wow, this is a beautiful picture. I, I am taking a couple of things away from this podcast, having just done this, that are going to be substantial for me. So thank you for letting me talk to myself in here. You guys need to listen. <laughs> Have a great Friday. I'll see you tomorrow for Ray Merriman. Level up Sunday night, back right here on Monday. Love you.